48 degrees in Fayetteville. And the first pitch officially for Molina. We go deep in a count. Uh, he worked deep in some counts already this weekend, but Mason Molina says, I'll see you later. Strike out, and that's the way you want to start your Razorback career. And you kind of looked up and down the schedule and said, you know, there's a game here and a game there where if you take those, they've only attempted one through the first two games of this series, and they were caught at third base. This laced into right center. Trimble's going to take a turn and head to third, and the Dukes are in business here in the first inning. Ryan Dooley with a base knock to put him on the corners. I think it's a strike. Got him swinging. Big one for Molina. Called strike three on the outer edge. White gets into one, laced into left center. Takes an aggressive turn on first and with a little trouble picking up the baseball. Won't even have to get his uniform dirty in the first inning. A leadoff double for Hudson White. This ball is well struck and it's got a tail on it towards the gap, but able to make the adjustment is Trimble reaching down, making the catch. That's a good read by Fenwick Trimble. Pickoff move to second, look out. One to four, they get Hudson White and you go from man on second with nobody out to bases empty and two outs. Another Hawaiian and out of the Aloy family having a great season so far is his brother. And right on cue, vahiva has got himself a two out base hit. I can tell you exactly what DVH is thinking right now. That's a run right there. McLaughlin had a chunk taken out of his season last year with a knee surgery. Happy to have him back. There's a long run to make and falls in. Coming around, the benefit of running with two outs. And the Hogs are on the board. McLaughlin will take third. Well, that ball was just hit in the Bermuda Triangle out there in shallow left field. And off the bat, left fielder Dooley thought that ball was going to carry a lot more. You see how far back he's playing. His first motion was back, and then he had to come in on his horse. Then that wind kind of blew it away from him. Been able to get a lot of reads and see what this wind's doing. This a sharp hopper through the 5-6 hole. Jack Wagner, back-to-back, -back, two out RBI hits for the Razorbacks. He stole a base on Friday, and this time he doesn't have to run as fast to walk for Lovich. This ball is hit high and deep to right field, to the track, dies off into the glove of O'Donnell. Hey everyone, Wheels here, and I'm excited to kick off my sixth year of college baseball coverage. Since there's always new viewers at the beginning of the season, I do want to give a quick reminder to subscribe, as over 50% of viewers watching haven't yet done so. We're so close to reaching half a million subs. Thanks everyone, and let's have another amazing season of college baseball. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to Jacob Steinberg. Molina with his fourth strikeout. They had opening day injuries. White will step out and complete the strikeout. Five strikeouts now for Mason Molina. Less time in between innings. Off the glove of Murphy. And because of that, it's enough time for Wilmsmeyer to get down to first. Drove in 49 runs. Taken off. Did he go? He did. It doesn't matter at second. The home plate umpire said that White went around, so it's a strikeout before a throwout. Those high strikes called nearly as much as they will be. The check down at third, he did go, so having to complete the throw, White. They even pay attention. Doesn't bother Molina right here. Strikeout number seven. First top 10 team they're playing against, but. This is a fair ball down into the left field corner. Diggs cruising into second, stand up double to lead off the bottom of the third. Good walk from McLaughlin. Chopper to short, six, four, the relay, what a pick at first base by Jacob Steinberg. You don't have to throw 100 miles an hour to be successful on the bump. There's another one right there. Number eight. Change up if you're right handed. 
Sharp pop over to third base. Coleman Calabrese is aboard. Five yesterday, putting the run rule in effect in the eighth. And a strikeout, number nine now for Molina. Another payoff upstairs, and that is walk number six. Lined a bare ball down into the corner, and James Madison is on the scoreboard. Not once, but twice. Clutch, two out, two RBI double from Wyatt Pfeiffer. Got him on the strikeout. So Arkansas notching their 10th strikeout as a team. Into right field. Sliding to cut it off, but he's still gonna take second, and the throw is in time. What a throw from Brendan O'Donnell in right field. Sliced into left and over the head of Dooley. Souza with a double in his first Razorback start. Two outs, runner on second, the payoff upstairs. Inside, ball four. Didn't miss by much. Skied up, playable in right field for O'Donnell. Settles under it, makes the catch. And the Razorbacks leave him loaded in the fourth. Getting down the quick bunt on the first pitch. And Piper showing off the versatility. On top of this baseball. Got the bat back. Off the mound, Gackle has to fire a fastball to first, and it's in time. Boy, that's a heck of a play, and we might see this challenge on the other side. I think he beat it. MU to have a really big inning. Yeah, he's safe. Call the first base is safe. Call be overturned to safe. Back up the middle and through. James Madison takes the lead and to score is Pfeiffer. Everybody else holds up. Payoff. Skied up. Gonna tag up at third is Schmidley. Here comes the throw, it'll go to third base. It gets passed and another run will come in to score. Trimble will get awarded third base with the ball out of play. High chopper, runner coming home, only play is the first. And it's a productive out for Brendan O'Donnell. His first RBI. Got a hot shot to third base earlier in this game, but it'll go down swinging here. Barrett able to recover and get the strikeout to end it. Sits down Wilmsmeyer. Socks this into right center. All the way to the fence. Two out double, second two base hit of the day for Kendall Diggs. Puts this into right center. Diggs who will come around to score. Aloy gunning for second and slides in safe. Laughlin will take a walk. Raised him. And they are loaded up. The beer hats will come out here at Baum Walker in the bottom of the seventh. Popped up, shallow right. Mancini under it, makes the catch. Second full count, Shavoni's work today. Walked the first time it happened. And he's done it again. Shavoni, tied for a guy that started half the games last year, played in 38 overall. And gets plunked, multi-run innings. Seem to come in bunches. Ball four to Mancini. To the hole, it's short, not an easy play. 
but he made it. Vahiva Aloy gets the Razorbacks out of it. And he turns on one here. That is a no doubter. Brendan O'Donnell with his first hit wearing a JMU uniform. Career bomb number 35. 96 coming in, 109 going out. That's what happens. at 424. Yeah. Yeah. That ball was absolutely blasted. That's what happens when you throw 96. It's going to go back out in a hurry. That's a big run right there. Two hopper to the hole, it's short. Throw a little bit offline from Malloy and knocked through the right side. Green light given. Calabrese coming around, not able to elude the tag. Breaks right in for strike three. You gotta do anything you can to get on base. That's big, that's really big right there. Chopper able to get to it, cut down the lead runner. Diggs will leg it out to prevent the double play. And Mancini, who has really shifted over to the first base side, had to cover a lot of ground. Taking off his digs. Here comes the throw, and they got him. Boy, as that pitch got away for a moment, a hit that saluted him. One, two, line right to second. Mancini squeezes the mitt, and James Madison pulls off a huge win, seven to three, the final in game three of this series.